back ladies and gentlemen this is mr black hammer 2022 i got another preview and prediction video of wwe crown jewels that coming coming on tomorrow at 12 o'clock i will do a live stream i will watch it i will make a review and review the entire show here i'm going to give my preview and predictions. i think there's about like one two three th yeah it's like eight matches here's the math card but, but because this is on the game, um, they don't have uh, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson and Carl Anderson because um, they, um, they just came back and they just returned a few weeks ago. And Dominic Mysterio, he's not on the game. I can't put Rhea Ripley on here. But we know that going to be the OC versus the Judgment Day in a 6 on 6, a 3 on 3 match. I think the OC is going to win since um, they just came back and reunited. Maybe Jevin they might win because they need a lot of momentum. Even though a lot of people not really feeling it with Jevin Day and not really doing anything with them. And then the second match, Eo Sawai and uh, Nikola Kai versus Alessa Bliss and Asuka for the uh, Women's Tag Team title. Um, this is a rematch from last week and we've seen the two few for like the last two months. These titles are worthless, they don't mean anything. Um, Oscar and Alessa just won the title, so I think that they will retain. I don't know. I mean, not that I care. It should be all right, Matt. Um, um, they did have a good main event on Raw this week. And the reason why this match is on is for filler, just to add time and, and put more matches on the card. The build to Crown Jewels hadn't been that great. It's been really lackluster and really awful. I can't wait for the pay per to be over and done with. So we can get to Survivor Series. But I think Alessa and Oscar will retain. Damage Control is pretty much buried. They're pretty much done. After the pay-per-view, once the, once the girls move on, then what? Then we have the Usos versus the Brawling Brute, Butts, and Riz Holland. But since they're not on the game, I have to find two other guys to replace them in this uh, card. Uh, clearly the Uso will retain the undisputed tag team titles. Um, they're like a few weeks away from breaking the all-time record of most of longest tag teams in history. Um, um, they already broke Demolition. They're about to break the New Day. So the Uso will retain and the Bloodline will continue. And, and for the storyline with the Bloodline, it's the best thing on SmackDown. Gotta keep going with the story with Sami Zayn and Jay Uso. So yeah, the Usos are going to retain. And then Braun Strowman and Omos. I don't care about this feud. I don't care about this match. I think Braun Strowman should win and end this Omos puss. I had to create a Omos character on here. So I can put him on here. Omos had MVP on his side. I think this, may be, this might be the worst match. It might be the, the bathroom break or your boring match. I don't care who wins. I just want to move on from the feud. Hopefully that we get, hopefully that they stop pushing Omos and they do something with MVP. But Braun Strowman, I have to say, um, this is the bet that Braun Strowman had been butts on WWE so far since he came back. He, he been both fine. I think Braun Strowman should win and maybe the, maybe he'll be the baby face on War Smackdown. I don't know. Hopefully that they move on. Hopefully that this is a one-off. And Braun Strowman being beat Omos. Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley. This should be a good match. Hopefully it's better than the last match at the Rumble. Uh, there's no title on the line. It's just a quick payday for Brock Lesnar. Um, kind of hard to win. Because Bobby Lashley lost the US title. Because he got screwed because of Brock Lesnar. But at the same time Brock Lesnar lost to Bobby Lashley. He's lost a lot of matches lately. He lost to Lashley. He lost to Reigns at Mania. He lost at SummerSlam. I think Brock will win, and this is and this is a sadie. The Prince wants Brock Lesnar, so I think Brock will get an easy win. I don't know. Both of them have been both pretty strong lately. They been beating the crap out of each other. They have great brawls. Should be a good match. Hopefully, it's not the same shit that Brock Lesnar does, but I'm l looking for a better match than, than what we got at the Rumble. Don't know who's gonna win here. Very tough. I think I'm okay with whoever wins here. I think Lashley needs it. Cause Lashley have been protected 
for, for these last few months. But Brock Lesnar, he's been losing a lot. So I'm, I'm okay with whoever wins. I think the savior Bennett Brock Lesnar. And then we have Drew McIntyre versus Karrion Cross inside a steel cage match. The, uh, the match should be alright. It should be decent. I enjoyed their match at Dream Wolves. I think it's good. I think Karrion Cross should win. He needs it. He he hasn't lost since coming back. He needs to look as strong as ever. The thing about Karrion Cross is that the way how he wrestles, his in ring is not that good. It's very slow, very methodical. He's boring. The match he had with Mad Cat Moss on SmackDown last week, the crowd was dead silent. He he he, he had no reaction. Karrion Cross, the way how he wrestles is boring. I don't know what I don't know what is with him, but. Um, somehow the crowd is not fond of with Karrion Cross. He got the entrance, he has Scarlet, the presentation is good. It just is his in ring. He has to work on him in the ring. I would say Jim McIntyre would win, but I think Cross would win. He hasn't looked stronger. And he may be in a title program with Roman Reigns, I don't know. But I think Cross will win. Up next, we have Bianca vs. Bailey for the Wild Women's title in a fall count anywhere. Um, I think Bianca is going to win. Um, this is also a tough one. I think I want Bailey to win. Just because after we build damage control. And Bailey has to look drawn for a Survivor Series for the war game coming up at Survivor Series. Well, Bailey. Well, well, well Bailey lost at Dream World. Then she pinned the champion. Um, this is a fall count anyway, so anyone can get involved. I think there will be some interferences. Maybe Nikki Quad gets involved. Eo and Dakota might get involved. This, this should be a good match. I enjoyed the match at Extreme War. I thought they had a great ladder match. And they shocked me a little bit. With, ba with Bianca going over. Maybe she loses it, because she's had it since WrestleMania. If she beats Bailey clean, then who does she feud with? It's not going to be Nikki Cross. It's not going to be Becky. Maybe they call up someone from NFT. Maybe Sasha Banks return. Because there are reports of Sasha Banks coming back. And Naomi coming back. It's been reported that they were pulled from the uh, from the live events. So I don't know. I think I want Bailey to win. Just because they have to do something with damage control. And build that, that stable up. So maybe they turn the stables around. And they build up two war games. Yeah. And then we have Roman Reigns versus Logan Paul for the Undisputed Universal Champion. It's the main event at Crown Jewels. The, um this has been going on for six or seven weeks. Um this is a um this is a match just to make money, just for ticket seller for Saudi Arabia. Logan Paul I had my problem with Logan Paul. I didn't like him getting this this, this match with Roman Reigns. Cause he, he cause he's a celebrity. He's on a part-time schedule. Now, granted, he's great in the ring, but the fans they hate Logan Paul. They boo him out of the building. I don't know how the Saudi fans are gonna react, cause it's in a different country. But just based on the reaction that he's been getting on SmackDown, they don't care about Logan Paul. Now this match is predictable. But Reigns are gonna Reigns will beat Logan Paul, and that's it. Um, this match may go 15 minutes. Should be pretty decent. I assume that Reigns is going to win. And that's it. Now there's also some other things I want to talk about. Is um, Now we know that there have been several NFTs releases were cut. Uh, there were five superstars from NFT that were just released a few days ago. So I have the coming back. And can't you guys know CM Punk may not sign with AEW. Just based on the the problem and the trauma that happened and based on the fight that broke out him being suspended he getting all the hate he may not come after AEW I highly doubt he'll come after WWE um also um you guys do know that there was a press conference a few hours ago it was earlier today though the press conference in Saudi Arabia all the superstars all the face off they all said their promos Okay, we know that they're in Saudi Arabia right now. Uh, SmackDown being pre-taped. Because Saudi Arabia is like a 17-hour flight. 
So SmackDown gonna be pre-taped tonight. I'm curious what's gonna happen. Cause right now, like all the superstars, everyone's in Saudi Arabia getting ready for the match tomorrow. Oh, in case you guys know that uh, Gunther is gonna defend the IC title against Rey Mysterio tonight on SmackDown. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. So, um, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all the Mac cards for today. Well, I'm, I'm, I might as well go on the Smack. I might, I might as well talk about uh, Monday Night War. Talk about some of the matches there. I believe we had Judgment Day and we had the OC in a brawl. Um, a Monday Night Raw wasn't that good. It was kind of boring. I think the best match was the main event. Like I said, Alexa Bliss and Asuka, they beat uh, Damage Control for the Women's Tag Team title in, in the main event. We had a great brawl between Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley. There was a great segment with Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman and The Miz. And Roman Reigns gave The Miz a Superman punch. And said he could knock out uh, Logan Paul. We also had a great match with uh, Seth Rollins and Austin Theory in a pretty good match. Seth Rollins is mega over. S Seth Rollins, he is uh, mega over. He is of uh, the crowd is singing along to a theme song. Um, they love him. So um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what else to talk about, really. Um, I think I talked about everything. I was gonna uh, do a math, but I don't know. So, yes. So, yeah. So, what happened on Monday Night Raw this week? Oh yeah, uh, the other news I want to talk about is uh, Vince McMahon misconduct investigation ends. But he's not coming back. He, he's not going to win WWE. Uh, Triple H and Stephanie are. Um, they're in Saudi Arabia right now as we speak. In case you guys know, uh, Jeff Jarrett, he debuts in AEW. He, uh, yeah, he debuted in, in uh, AEW. Uh, Tony Khan books another tournament for in in um, AEW. Yeah. And the other, and the other thing I want to talk about: Tony Khan takes aim at Eric Bischoff. CM Punk gets voted off the island. Um. You guys know that Triple Ways had killed off all the gimmick pay-per-views. We all know that the World Rumble will be in Jan in January this year. We all know that Elimination Chamber will be in Canada this year. Canada. That's also Sami Zayn's um hometown. I wonder how that's gonna be, but uh, Triple Ways had killed off all of the gimmick pay-per-views, especially Hell in a Cell. That means that, uh, there won't be Hell in a Cell. There won't be a stream rule. There's no TLC. Day one has been canceled, so that's not gonna be in January. There's also uh, WWE. It's been reported that WWE is bringing back the King of the Ring pay-per-view, which is what we needed for a long time. A lot of us have advocated it for a long ass time. They are bringing back King of the Ring as a pay-per-view. Hopefully, they book 16 men and both determine great. I don't know if they're going to be a queen crown. I doubt that they will. And I don't think we need one after what they did last year and other disgrace. Hopefully this year they book a, a uh, King of the Ring tournament in right and book it good. So I'm curious how that's going to be but I think that's going to be next year. That's good because we don't need gimmick pay-per-view. They're worthless. It kind of kills off the prestige of the message. 
there's no need for three moves, there's no need for TLC, there's no need for um, Hell in a Cell, because Triple H has history with Hell in a Cell, he's only going to book Hell in a Cell when a story, when a feud with two people means something, Hell in a Cell will end the feud, so it's not going to be a pay-per-view. I think they'll still have Hell in a Cell, but it's not going to be a pay-per-view. Having three Hell in a Cell matches, or four Hell in a Cell matches, just too much. It, 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 it devalued the concept, it overexposed the gimmick. So Hell in a Cell is only going to be for a story and the feud between two guys that means something. Alright. Now the other thing I want to talk about is, um... Yeah, so, um... Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it more. Alright, so as I was saying, I did watch NXT, not that much. Braun Breaker came back. Mandy Wolf celebrated her championship, her one year championship celebration. R Troop, he was on NXT. He was also on Monday Night Raw. Um, I forgot who he wrestled. He wrestled, oh yeah, he wrestled Baron Corbin, I think. You guys know that Baron Corbin came back and he paired with JBL. And it is nauseating, and it is annoying. Baron Corbin is not likable as a baby, um, as a heel. He's hated as a heel. No one cared about Baron Corbin. And with JBL, that just makes it worse. Uh, Baron Corbin is getting going away heat. Um, he is. And the other thing I want to talk about is, uh, Johnny Gargano had an interview a tell-it-all interview that talked about his life and the story between Death to Loomis and they're also telling us why Death to Loomis is going after The Miz and and that's been going on for a few months now I'm hoping they wrap it up and end it alright uh, the other method that we had was uh, uh, Bianca Belair beat Nikki Cross pretty good math Car and we had Damian Priest and Carl Anderson. The Miz versus Ali. Then we had Matt Riddle versus Otis in a three fight. A trigger three fight. Because since it was Halloween on that day. Yeah. And um, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah. That's all I got to say about that. Um, I almost forgot to say that uh, Ronda Rousey, last week Ronda Rousey had a um, open challenge to where she challenged someone. You guys know that Emma came back. Emma came back. I, I think she was on TNA. She was also released five years ago in 2017. Her last match was against Asuka at, at, at TLC five years ago. That was the last match, and then she was released. And now she's back after five long years. Now Emma came out to no reaction, but she looked great. She looked pretty decent, a lot better than Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey just sucks at champion. I can't wait till she loses that title. Nobody cares about Ronda Rousey. Also, and finally, the last thing I want, I want to talk about is, uh, Bray Wyatt will be at Crown Jewels. He doesn't have a match, but he will be there. He may interfere in a match. He may come out and tease a match with someone. But there are reports from WrestleVote and by Triple H, I think, that there are plans to do Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt for the world title. A lot of people don't like this idea. I know JD don't like it. Solomon don't, don't like it. Bray Wyatt should be nowhere near a championship. Keep him away from the world title. He should not be anywhere near Roman Reigns. He just came back. He should be in secondary feuds. I have him be in the mid card. And plus, Bray Wyatt should never be in the world title match ever again. We've done that twice. We don't need to see it again. So, um, yeah. I, I, I don't want to see Bray Wyatt in a world title. And hopefully not. So, um, yeah. And 
and I think that's all I got to say about that. Yeah, so tomorrow I will do a Crown Jewels review after the show is over. Um, I'm not sure if I should do a live review or if I should just uh, watch it. I don't know. But yeah. I think that's all I got to say. Uh, there's not much going on in the NBA or in football. So, uh, yeah. All right. Well, guess I had enough for today. Um, I just want to make sure and check everything. Okay, and these are all the masses today. Guess I will stop the video. Until next time, this is Mr. Black Hammer 2022. Hit that like button, leave a comment, please subscribe to my channel. This video was sponsored by PlayStation. It was sponsored by JD from New York, Fight for Pro Wrestling, Salamaster, Good Good Might Work Commentary, and the IWC Wrestling Inc. Until next time, I'll be back with more. Thank you for watching. Look, and let's see if we can get 100 likes on, on my video.